Let's go first to the Magic Kingdom Park. I like the magic in Disney World. Anything's possible here. Anything is possible here because fairy tales and fantasies are the realities. Happiness is the prevailing attitude. The mayor of this kingdom is a mouse. And fun is about the only thing he takes seriously. It begins on Main Street, USA, hometown America at the turn of the century, when the horseless carriage had just taken to the road. Barbershop quartets were in vogue, and Steamboat Willie was just around the bend. Adventureland has you exploring everything from the home of Swiss Family Robinson to an enchanted tiki room and encountering some pretty unsavory creatures along the way. In Adventureland, we like uh, Jungle Cruise. We think that's real nice. Uh, it's very realistic and it's uh, exciting. There's uh, a lot of things you don't expect that pop up out of the water. One of my very favorites is Pirates of the Caribbean, and that's always a must for us. Frontierland has you rafting over to Tom Sawyer's Island, watching a live show, splashing and spiraling through incredible mountains. The biggest, wettest, steepest of them all is Splash Mountain, a film ride through Br'er Rabbit's country that has you singing the songs of the South until suddenly you're dropped off. I didn't know what to expect. I was gonna fall right into it. I knew it. I was just screaming. I was just like, ah! 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 the drop is so fast and so furious. I left my heart up at the top of the thing. It was great. I loved it. Can't beat it. I love you. My mother and sister and I rode big Thunder Mountain Railroad. It was incredible. We were riding through, and you had all these twists and turns and on this runaway train. And these rocks looked like they were going to fall. And the scenery was just great. It was wonderful. I really recommend this to all you guys going to come to Florida. In the country bear jamboree, you go inside and uh, see a load of bears dancing around and singing. It's country music. It's a real hoedown. All the guys that turn me on, turn me down. Liberty Square is right out of the pages of American history. Everyone assembles here to watch all the presidents in a walking, talking, debating session. Surely God would not have created such a being as man with ability to grasp the infinite, to exist only for a day. Man was made for immortality. Next to the Hall of Presidents, some 999 spirited ghosts scare up their own version of history. You go into this big room, and the ceiling grows, and you feel like you're either shrinking or the room's getting bigger, and you're not really sure. And if you look at the ceiling, you can see, a, I think there's a dead body hanging, but you really can't tell. They didn't see it, but I saw it. And there's people dancing all around, and there's ghosts howling, and people are, there's chains and doors knocking, and weird, lots and lots of weird noises. As you're exiting out, the ghost is just riding right along with you, and you're taking it home. Fantasyland. It's where storybook characters come to life. Cinderella, Snow White, Goofy, Donald Duck, Pinocchio. Winnie the Pooh and Tigger too. Fantasyland is where fairy tale dreams come true. When I used to be a kid, I loved going to Fantasyland because Dumbo the Flying Elephant was there. You flew up in an elephant, you know? You flew by his rings. <laughs> it was fun. And if you've never been on It's a Small World, you have to go. There are tons and tons of little dolls inside that sing in all different languages. And they take you through the whole universality of the world. It's a small world, laughter, it's a small, small world. We went on the teacups, and, it, and the, all different colours, it's the Mad Hatter's Tea Party, and you go on that, and then uh, while I was on that with my mum, my mum said to me, stop whirling it now, because I'm being sick. 
Today we're in Mickey's Starland, and this is just great because the kids can see where Mickey Mouse lives. It's neat to see all his bed and his furniture. This is just a real fun day to start out with with the kids. They were really thrilled that he came up and he shook their each one's hand and they ruffled their hair and signed the autograph books and hugged them all and my daughter cried. Tomorrowland has you soaring on star jets and sailing on dream flight. Sponsored by Delta Airlines. Over a storybook perspective of aviation. Tomorrowland is filled with fun and excitement for everyone. Well, I always liked Tomorrowland. It was a lot of adventure. You could go to the Grand Prix Raceway, just drive your cars. We used to go. There was a bunch of us. We'd have about five of us in cars and try to race each other. And then Space Mountain. We just got off of Space Mountain. Scariest ride I've ever been on. You're in the dark, you're going round and round, up and down, looking at the stars. We almost went and hit the ceiling, I'm sure, one time. It's great, gotta ride it. If you love a parade, the Magic Kingdom features some of the world's greatest year-round. There's nothing like Disney parades. All the costumes are different, the music, it all goes together. It's wonderful. I've seen parades on TV. They're just parades. I mean, they have floats, they have bands, whatever. But Disney ones, they've got the feeling of it. It's, they're just unique. You won't find them anywhere else. They're wonderful. They're worth the trip. Every day, there's a magnificent Magic Kingdom parade. And when night rolls in, Spectro Magic rolls out. Spectro Magic is a mind-boggling triumph of music, magic, and lights. A powerful display of symphonic sounds and optical illusions that take classic Disney animation into a whole new dimension. And Fantasy in the Sky Fireworks is the ultimate topping to the most magical day of your life.